What is up guys, it's Mad Mind back with another video and we have a ton of new updates for you guys today. Uh, first of all, we have 10 Ultimate Legends coming out tomorrow. We also have this new Black History Month thing. I actually already completed my challenges for it. So it's all the way down here. As you guys can see, I finished it at the end of the third week. So three weeks, three players. At the end of the third week, you get to choose between the three players. Either Fritz Pollard or the other two, and one of and you get one as a 95, and you also keep their 90 overalls. So <clears throat> it's not a terrible promo. It's a free 95 overall. Hopefully we get some better cards. Um, I'll show you Fritz Pollard really quickly as well as some updates. We have two of the team. Uh, we have him right here at running back number two, just with Kems, 91 speed, 92 excel, 85 carry. Like he's not great. His 95 will probably be like 94 speed, 95 speed with like 90 carry, maybe 94 change of direction, 95, like 95 break tackle. <coughs> so definitely not the worst card, but not a card I'll be using. <coughs> um, as for other updates, so we actually got rid of um Paul, our Tony Pollard, not Chris Pollard, and we just upgraded Gurley. We got our 88 overall power pass, so we just upgraded him. 292 speed, 93 Excel, uh, 96 carry, which is very nice. Good break tackle, decent truck. So we're just going to be rocking out with him for now. Uh, I don't know if I really do want to spend a ton on work done just because Gurley's a little bit bigger, and I feel like that's important. Obviously, my end goal is to get Derrick Henry, but Gurley works for now, and he's not too expensive. So once his Redux comes down, his Redux right now shot up in price as we actually just sold one of the guys we got. So he was like 100k yesterday, he's like 170. I don't know what's going on with the market really, but he shot up a little bit. Uh, we also did the Janu Smith set in the Zero Chill. It was very expensive. <clears throat> I think I got like a Gridiron Pack or something that was able to help me complete this set. So we did get Janu. We have Tight End Apprentice on him, which I think is super important for me especially. 94 speed though, 94 excel. Great route running. Like He's probably our best receiver, honestly. Uh, the tight end position is super important to me personally, so I really do like this card a lot. Um, we moved Robert Woods over <clears throat> to fullback. He's still in our tight end position, though, just because he actually has 85 run blocking, which is, like, ridiculous. So even though he has no strength or anything, the run block is nice in case I am running the ball, which isn't terrible. He can also run the ball, too, because he has 90 speed. We threw in a fullback that we just had in our binder uh, just to get an extra chem back here. Uh, and the offense, we added two edge protectors. We added three post-ups as well. Post-up works for run and pass plays. Then the edge protectors, because I was getting screamed at a lot, so I decided to throw those in. Other than that, the offense is the same, though. Um, I'm still trying to decide what quarterback I want to move to. I really do not know. Um, maybe with Reduxes coming out next week, maybe some of the cards will be cheap, like I know right when Reduxes drop, especially when they're 97 or maybe 98 overalls, they might be like 400k. So if Deshaun Watson's card drops to like that 400k mark or something around that, I might have to pick it up even though it's expensive. Um, defensively, I showed you guys Pat Watkins. Uh, we just added training to... Uh, we added the training that we needed to get Reggie White up and we actually switched back to Balance D. So look at this. Without his full card, he's a 96 tackle, 97 player, 97 block shed, 98 power move, 94 finesse. He's an absolute maniac. This card's crazy, crazy good. Uh, same thing with Trey Flowers on the other side. Uh, with balanced defense, it just helps these guys' stats a lot. So he gets up to 99 tackle, 96 player, 96 block shed, 98 power move, and 88 finesse, which is also incredibly good. We took inside stuff off of Leroy, eh, Leroy Glover just for training purposes, uh, but Trey Flowers and Reggie White still do have that. Um, it did drop Xavier Howard's uh, overall down by one, um, but everything else is actually the same. I want to get another safety instead of Jeff Heath just because it shows that he's not good on the field. And then Asante, I need to get my 90 overall power pass, which I think I get at, I want to say, level 60... Level 60. Um, oh, sorry about that, guys. That was really loud, actually. I apologize, though. Um, so here, what level do I get this at? That's the wrong one. I need to do those to get 100K, though. Um, what's this? 
No. Coins. Is this a power pass? 87, 88. So, and we already have one. So this this might be the 90 overall one. 58, 50, 60. It'll be 60 that we get it if this loads. Yeah, so that's when we're going to throw Asante in. Again, I'm not going to get work done anymore. Hopefully just um, Gurley's price does drop a little bit. And then my main focus is really quarterback. But uh, talking about the Ultimate Legends, 10 tomorrow. Now, there's no limiteds in the Ultimate Legend promo, but 10 cards, 5 offensive, 5 defensive. That's, like, crazy good. <clears throat> so, I mean, are they going to be expensive? Who knows, since there's so many of them. I think the good ones will be. I think it will be a lot of lower overalls. I mean, it would be – I think it's crazy to say this, but I think that we are going to get another quarterback. And if I'm willing to bet, it's going to be, Dan, like, maybe Dan Marino – Maybe, um, I would say Marino is probably our best bet. Possibly Cunningham, but I doubt that. Um, I'm not really sure what else it could be. I mean, it could be like a 50 player. Favre, obviously, people would go crazy over, including me. I don't know what their overalls are going to be as well, so that's another thing to look at. Maybe Culpepper. Um, there's a lot of different options there. But right now, I'm just looking for... That's actually a really good training value right there. But I don't actually... You know what? Oh, man. Okay. That's fine. I don't need to spend the coins on the training for no reason. Um, so I still just... I don't know what quarterback I want to use. I think mobility is so important. Josh Allen has 87 speed, and it really does show. I get to scramble. Scrambling with the quarterback seems pretty well. Good, not well. Um, so I really don't know... Um, right now I'm really just saving my coins for next Friday with all the reduxes because cards will just drop in price dramatically. Like I'm not going to spend that much for a 96 Asante. We also are getting our power up past 96 overall. Let's see. Do we get a 96 and 97? Cause that could be a game changer. I've been grinding levels super hard. It feels like so slow. Grinding levels feel slower than it's ever been. I don't know why. Um, oh, it doesn't even show you what you get at. Oh, in the daily missions it does. Is this the daily? Yeah. So we're at like, we are, we were here, 175. So we're going to get, how many, it's been a month, which is what, 30 days. So if you go 30 days from now, that's 205-ish. So this is a 96. Yeah. So I think we're going to get our 96 and 97 overall power pass. Crazy that the series is coming so soon. Tons of reduxes. Um... Uh, one more thing to talk about. I did get special offers. I got the, uh, weekly elite pack. That's five bucks. And I actually pulled 93 Shaq Griffin Redux. So that was good. Then I got the 51 level 51, uh, coin pack. <coughs> They're starting to get a little expensive. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep doing them. Uh, some people said I can, some people said I can't. So I'm not really sure about that. We did do some more of these as well. We didn't get anything at all. We were just kind of re-rolling, pulling like 91s, quick selling them, looking for something bigger, but we didn't really get anything. We've just been like grinding out some coin stuff. I went into my binder and I actually cleared out a lot of gold cards and I had a ton of, I make sure to keep all my Raiders and Buccaneers gold cards and I actually sold a lot of them um, because they go into like Rich Gannon set and stuff like this guy. Like, this guy's cheap, but I think I had, like, an, there's an Eric Fisher that sells for, like, 8K. And this was all last night, and the, so the prices were up. Um, and I sold them all for, like, 100K. There was, like, six or seven of them, and they were, like, 20, 15 to 20K each. So that's a uh, – I don't even know why that's in my binder. I have a first down in my binder, too. 100 training. Those all converted over today as well. Let me go throw that into the Sam Mills. Oops. But yeah, so as far as the team goes, I really just want to work on my um, free safety. I don't know who to get, and I do need another corner. Since I'm, I'm running 3-2-6 and 1-4-6, and I have Alfred in right now, which really isn't the best. So I'm really not sure. I think Asante will be the fourth corner, but I do want another free safety, that means, as well, because... Juan Thornhill is just, he's not fast enough. He does make plays, but he's not fast enough. Uh, all the time, but I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that. So there's a couple of upgrades I want to make, but honestly, I am super happy with where the team is at right now. My D line is solid. The only thing I want to do eventually, and I'm not in a rush, 
is to power up Grady Jarrett all the way and put him at my DT number one. Because the card stats here, I'll show you guys. Without chems and everything, like he's going to have 92 strength. He'll have, what, 86 excel, uh, 97 awareness, 97 tackle, 92 impact block, 97 power move, 89 finesse, which goes up to 91, breaks the threshold, 96 block shed, 97 pursuit, uh, 80 or 90... Uh, 98 play rec, um, and he has great hit power. He'll have 95 hit power. Like this card is actually ridiculous. His speed will go up to like 70 something. So he is like one of those interior guys. But I mean, his card would just be nuts. And it's it's one of those cards that I haven't used. There's a lot of cards that I just like haven't used. Like AJ Terrell, I haven't. Xavier Howard, I haven't. I haven't used Asante. Uh, I've used D'Angelo, but not in zone. And he actually plays incredibly well. Uh, same thing for offense. I haven't used Henry Ruggs. I haven't used Kelvin Ridley. I didn't really play when Julio was out around, like, usable. Never used Gurley. Um, I used Janu for a tiny bit, but not really because there was, like, Tony Gonzalez that came out and stuff. And then, obviously, the O-line is something that I'll just work on progressively over time, uh, the more free players we get. But this was just a quick little update video. I have a lot of work to do today. I actually have, like, a weird test at, like, 7.30 at night tonight. So I don't think I'll be doing anything else today. I'm just going to be doing schoolwork. Tomorrow, I'll probably have a video going over all the Ultimate Legends on my main account. I'll be doing a pack opening. I did do a 1 million coin pack opening on my main, actually. I'll show you guys. Um, yesterday, and we the the best... I'll show you my item binder. I need to clear it out before tomorrow, actually. Yeah. Our best pull was at 90 overall. In 1 million coins spent, it was a 90 overall. I'll go over here. Like It was, it was terrible, guys. It was really bad. Um, we get all this training though, which is nice. Like you see, we were we were at four mil after we sold off our team pretty much. Now we're at three. And look at this. I'm just gonna go to newest. <clears throat> so that's 200 get a gold packs, okay? Is uh one million coins. And look at this. This is this is our all of our elite pulls. 190, 187. 287s, 188, like, uh, where's all the, we pulled, like, Jamal, that's our best pull, this Jamal Adams, who probably sells for, like, 100k, so, yeah, that was our best pull in 1 million coins spent, which is just ridiculous, it, I mean, it's just trash, so I'm, I'm not gonna upload it, I don't think it's entertaining at all, it was, like, a 25-minute video, and I don't think you guys want to see me freaking out that EA is a garbage company for 25 minutes, I personally wouldn't want to watch me do that. But I hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay yesterday. I actually did have a lot of fun doing that. Um, do we, do we, yeah, we, we even opened all of the All Pro, all of the clutch packs. Got absolutely nothing. Like, I don't know why it's giving me all these tips. <clears throat> it's, this is the first time I've been on Next Gen on this account, I think. Maybe we can pull something good here. But yeah, so it's just like, I, I'm not going to upload that. I like, because it, it was just bad. So you guys, have, you, uh, I'll have one video out for you guys today. Big one. That's actually not bad. Huh. He's on my other account. Um, but uh, this will be one video today. I'll probably have one or two tomorrow. I'm going to open up all the Ultimate Legend packs on this account. I know it's a terrible idea, but I'm going to just... Or maybe I'll just open a couple. I'm not really sure what I want to do with this account. I think pack and play would be fun, but I really don't know what kind of rules I would be looking at in terms of what to do. So, I mean, we'll figure it out. I think once the next series comes out, I'll definitely be more up for it. Because the pack odds are so bad right now that there's nothing really, like, it's just not fun, you know? It's not fun at all. It's like, you're not going to pull anything good. The team's going to suck and I'm just going to lose. Um, as you guys can see, like, I'm not really getting anything. And obviously I can't expect much out of Get a Golds. We'll do, like, one more. But it's just like, it's just like, I don't know. It's so unenjoyable to do, like, a lot of stuff in this game right now. Like, I've literally just been grinding challenges. Um, the honors cards are pretty much impossible to pull, which is just ridiculous. Like, I don't know why, but nobody has pulled them. There's obviously them on the auction block from random people that just get lucky. But the fact that nobody has pulled them and you see all these people spending millions of coins, hundreds of dollars, and you can't pull one is just absolutely ridiculous. Now with tomorrow's ultimate legend packs and Aaron Rodgers and Aaron Donald coming out, I think the odds are going to be great on those. Um, for, I think they'll be incredible on those. So 
I don't know what that means in terms of how much the honors cards are going to cost tomorrow. Um, Cause let's just look right now. Like Chase Young, he has the rookie premiere, so he'll be that price. Alex Smith is cheaper than Justin Herbert. What? Alex Smith is such a good card. The other thing is we don't get these reduxes for the next series coming up. That's nuts. That I guess the, the pack odds were better this for these drops than the other. Derrick Henry is obviously 1.3 mil. That's all of them right now. Alex Smith is so cheap, and I think this card is actually incredible. So, I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. We just sold our Jamal. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this little video, giving you a couple updates. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe. It really does help me out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for 10 Ultimate Legends. Peace.